Good morning on this snowy, calm, white, wintry day. There's something to be said about the calmness, the whiteness, the serenity. In a world gone so mad, able to just have the fresh white snow and the calmness gives us some sense of serenity and hope. And it's, it's interesting because, you know, we just came into the new month of Shabbat, which is the 11th month of the year. And soon, on Saturday night, we're going to do a pray that's called Kiddush Levana, which we bless the new moon. Every year, every month, Rosh Chodesh in the Jewish month is on the Hebrew calendar when the moon totally disappears. And then when the moon reappears on the seventh day, when it becomes a quarter full, we go outside and we make a prayer. And in the prayer, we pray to the Almighty, as just as when I stand right down here, there's no way for me to touch the moon. So too may my enemies not be able to touch and hurt me. And it's interesting because this prayer of Kiddush Levana and the counting of the months comes from this week's Torah portion. Whereas the Jews are about to leave Egypt, the first mitzvah God gives them as free people is Achodesh Hazel Lachem Rosh Chodashim. This is going to be the way you count the months through the lunar calendar. And the rabbis discuss, and I've mentioned this before, how are we and why are we connected to the moon? And there's something about the moon that's so powerful that when it turns dark and the moon disappears and it's pitch dark outside, you know it's a moment of rebirth. You know there's the hope that the moon and the knowledge that the moon will reappear. Although the moon waxes and wanes, so too is the Jewish people. So true are the Jewish people. At some of our most darkest moments, when we look so dark and so painful, we know that we will reappear stronger because as we say and we pray to God in the Kiddush Levana that God watches over us and doesn't allow our enemies to touch us. And that's why Rosh Chodesh is so important on the Hebrew calendar, connected, connected to the moon, because it reminds us that like the moon, don't give up hope on the Jewish people, even when things are dark, because at their darkest moments, they will reappear stronger and more united and more full of hope. On Sunday, I spoke to you about Miriam Lobernstern, this remarkable woman who lost her husband on Hanukkah and the war, a father of six kids, his oldest not even being bar mitzvah, and his youngest not old enough to say Abba. And I told you what a remarkable person she is and how much hope she has and how remarkable her husband was and how she said that every single night he never went to bed without saying good night to, good night and I love you and how lucky I am to be married to you every single night. And she said the same thing to him. But she said something else on this podcast. She said that every Rosh Chodesh, there's a custom that a Rosh Chodesh, you buy a gift for your wife, and every single Rosh Chodesh, he didn't miss one without buying his wife a gift. And this Rosh Chodesh Shvat, which has just begun, which we just begun on Thursday, she was feeling sad because she didn't have a way. She knew that her husband wasn't there to give her a gift, and it was painful for her. And suddenly she's sitting at home and she bursts out crying without her husband, no gift on Rosh Chodesh. She just reminded her of the emptiness. And suddenly she hears a ring, she hears a ring on the bell. And the neighbor, she opens the door and the neighbor says, you know, I was thinking of you and I wanted to give you a gift. And she gave her a beautiful necklace. Even when her husband had passed, he managed to find a way to get her a gift on Rosh Chodesh. Her hope... And the story of the Jewish people, the kindness of her neighbor, the optimism she has is the story of the Jewish people. It's a story of Rosh Chodesh, of the moon waxing and waning, but yet never totally disappearing because it always reappears more beautiful and stronger. And as we say in that prayer to God, just like I can stand here on earth and touch the moon, pray and hope that none of our enemies could hurt us, and that God protect all of our remarkable soldiers and all of our remarkable people in Israel. Have a great day.